Uh, uh, Jarvis, wasn't a, a huge yards after contact day, but it's something you've done great all season. Is that just physical gifts? Is there something in you emotionally that allows you to keep going, you know, through contact and, and bust off big ones like that? Uh, man, it's all about just, for me, it's about consistency and just staying consistent with it. Um, I, I feel like I have a lot to prove. I feel like I'm one of the best backs in the nation. I just want to come out here every week and prove that. Honestly, uh, we we definitely let left a lot of me on the bone. We could have did a little bit better, in my opinion, but um, uh, that's what we prepared to do: uh, explosive plays and just making them. And for the most part, we did that. You've gotten some recognition. Why do you feel like you have a lot to prove? Uh, I just feel like I'm still underrated, and honestly, I like it like that. I, I want to be the underdog. I want to keep working. Uh, stay, I'm, I'm going to keep staying down and keep proving myself week by week. It's fun, but that's just what we expect to do. So, honestly, we just expect to uh, score points. So, it's fun at the same time, but we already expect to do it. So. Uh, honestly, we don't pay too much attention to that. Uh, we take it week by week. Uh, Boston College played a great game against Florida State, but each week is different. So we just come out here and do what we have to do. Uh, Juar, obviously, you know, before uh, Coach Brown was hired, you knew about like his offense and his reputation. But for you, like being a part of it, what has it been like? And has it even maybe even exceeded your expectations because of some of the plays and some of those explosive plays you kind of alluded to? Yeah, uh, at first, you know, uh, I heard all about, like, Coach Braun passing the ball, but I wasn't too worried about that. I feel like I can be a threat in the pass game as well, so that's something I look forward to and uh, just keep making plays. Jawar, the fake kneel down. Um, kind of walk through that, that play. And is that something you guys have been working on for a while? Yes, sir. We, we practice it every week, so we finally got to unleash it and show our uh, special plays. Jawar, your two other games against Power 5 teams, kind of uneven performances. How important for you guys was it to have a game where you jumped out on them early and kept a big lead the, the whole time? You know, uh, just playing the ACC opponent, it's, it's always important to come out with a with a victory. So we just uh, keep working and uh, treat everybody, respect all opponents, but every game is different. Your uh, yards per carry dropped a little today, but you're still averaging close to 10 yards per carry. Are you aware that the record is 12.2 and that it's held by Jackie Robinson? <laughs> no, sir. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> Joe, how much confidence does a game like this give you guys with you know Notre Dame, or I'm sorry, uh, NC State on the road next week and then Notre Dame two weeks from now? Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? Confidence does a game like this give you with two opponents like NC State and Notre Dame kind of coming up over the next two weeks? Really, it's just like we, we're going to keep our confidence but stay humble at the same time. Uh, NC State is going to be a great opponent. Anytime we get those ACC matchups, you know, it's going to be a four-quarter battle. So we're just going to come out, prepare for them, and uh, it's going to be a good one. Just kind of talk about how having guys like Amari and Jamari and those guys on the outside making those plays, how does that impact your running lanes? How does that help you to be a better running back? Man, those guys are explosive. So uh, them in the passing game, uh, it's, it's a blessing to uh, have a, a great O-line, first of all, and then guys who can make plays uh, with the deep balls and even the short passes can bring a 10-yard hitch to a 50-yard run. So it's a blessing to have those receivers. Thank you.